Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School Where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool Truly learn with a common goal We are safe, respectful, and responsible Home to math minds, some of the best readers Musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders Lots happening in this wonderful place And there's only one way to stay up to date So if you got a case of the sandbox blues Hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? 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 What's good, guys, gals, and non binary pals? My name is Gavin. And I'm Sean, aka Turbo, aka, aka. Welcome back to the Shamrock News. We're only a couple weeks away from the end of our 100 million word challenge. Let's check in and see what's happening. The eighth grade winner of this week is <laughs> Anthony, who read Day of Attack on Pearl Harbor Infamy. The seventh grader winner is <laughs> Sonia K, who read The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This week's winner for sixth grade is Jesse Porter, who read Save Rafi. Sixth grade word count is at 37,665,819 words. Your word count is like an illusion. Seventh grade word count is at 40,984,126 million word, 40 million words. Your word count is going bonkers. Eighth grade word count is at 29,792,048. Your word count is spiking to the top. Staff's word count is at 11,348,745 words. Ah. You guys are like snakes slithering up to the top. The total word count score is 119,790,738 words. We'd like to remind everybody that our Student of the Month theme for January is patience. Gotta be patient. This month's theme is patience. Just a reminder that we will be hosting a Rouse Got Talent show at Milwaukee High School this spring. So if you've got a talent you'd like to showcase, this event is for you. Okay, and then just Wait, let, let me start over, let me start over. I thought mimes didn't talk. <sighs> Maybe it's just because no one listens to them. Okay. Yeah. My name's Hannah Palmer, I tell you be juggling. <laughs> Simple ordinary pencil, I'm going to stick it up my nose. Ready, here oh. we go. The most obvious thing. <laughs> you got a talent, we have a talent show this spring at the Milwaukee Auditorium. More details coming soon. Speaking of talents, we've got our new Tiny School Desk concert featuring one of our beatboxing, Christopher Powell's and Mr. Dix. Yeah. Said I move 
like a night on a ten place radius. Checkmate, spit the what it do through the dead space. Red flames in the gut, tell me fed and rested while the bullets in breeds another budding epidemic. Got a face mask, different from the normal one. Laid back, leader of the tortoise one. Lap where they race rats, couldn't let the boredom come. I'm Johnny searching haystacks, I'm willing Orville soaring up before another plane crash. It's difficult until it's simple, simple till it's difficult. Well, I must have missed the middle, Claude Six, Rose City pedal smeller, fellow helper to the sight seekers and the Helen Kellers. Check it, been acquainted with the macro and micro. Let's meet at the black hole by the light pole tonight. I'll show you how the planet is spitting marbles and how the chemicals get that atmosphere to sparkle, yo. The Letty Library is holding its annual summer reading art contest. Rolling? Yes, we are rolling. Hello, Shamrock News people. Today we are at the lovely Rao Middle School of Olivia. Hi, uh, this is much color. Do you an art? Got it. Paying enough of this. <laughs> this hang on. Uh, the, the Letting Library needs you. Pause for dramatic effect. How long do I have to stand here? Cut to commercials, get off. We're rolling in three, two, one. Hello, people. Artwork can be submitted between January 2nd and January 31st. No late entries will be looked at. Oh my gosh, where did they find these people? Here's some information about the art contest. The winner's design will be used for all countywide 2019 LINCC teen summer reading program materials such as posters, flyers, forms, etc. So, Olivia, what types of artwork is eligible? You want to say something about that to everybody? No. Just, God, this is so annoying. <laughs> now that she's gone, all artwork must represent... Oh, I'm supposed to take that. No. Now that they're both gone, the artwork must represent the teen summer reading theme, a universe of stories, and imagery only. Artwork must contain no words. Design must include artwork on 8.5 by 11 inches sheet of paper. Design should be in color. Okay, now you time to shine. Get out. Computer generated images may be used, but all components must be completely original. You may not use any copied images. Uh, limited to two entries per contestant. Cut to commercials. How many designs may I submit? Up to... Two designs. Thank you. <laughs> now that it's time for the egg of... <laughs> egg of the segment. Okay. Egg of the segment. Now that it's time for the end of this segment, thank you all for joining us. And now we're all a big, happy family. <laughs> Rao Middle School students, are you interested in learning more about how you can contribute to your community and make connections that can help and support you for a lifetime? Do you want to hear more about business and career opportunities for the future? Come to the Interact Club after school on Monday, January 28th in room 222 to hear Judge Yolanda Watkins talk about the importance of community service and her experience of being a judge in Clackamas County. See Mrs. Ackerman for more details.
Guest speaker Judge Yolanda Watkins is a judge on the Clackamas County Circuit Court. The court has jurisdiction over Clackamas County and is located within the 5th Judicial District. She was appointed by Governor Kate Brown on July 12, 2017 and elected to the bench November 6, 2018. Judge Watkins is the third African-American woman to serve as a circuit court judge in Oregon and at the time of her appointment, the first African-American to serve on state or federal bench outside of Multnomah County. She is a native Oregonian, wife, and a mother of two adult sons. Come join us January 28, 2019 after school to hear this phenomenal guest speaker. We need more 8th graders for this year's Washington, D.C. trip. As more students sign up, we'll be able to bring along a special guest. To say what for what? So you got to start and say, remember that trip that we've talked about to D.C. and New York? I've been doing 29 before and you were I'm born, gonna... princess. <laughs> okay, so then you should know what to say there. Yeah. Start. So, yeah, okay, are you ready? There you... Yeah, you start us off. More I'm just here for looks. Hey, aren't you going on a trip soon? Yes, I am, young lady. Oh, where are you going? Well, every year we go to Washington, D.C. and New York City. Oh, I want to go. Can I go? Well, we have a 1 to 10 ratio. So for every 10 kids or parents we get, we get to take one more teacher. So that means how many more students do we need so I can go? Six. So if six more eighth graders sign up and get ready to go to this D.C. New York trip, then I can go too. That is correct. Sign up for the D.C. trip. I'm trying to go to the East Coast. That's a wrap. <laughs> the crew from the Adventures with Daryl show are back searching for their wonderful friend, Daryl. With me and Daryl? Sure. Hey there, Daryl. Do you want to go to a party with me, Emily, and Andy? Yeah, that sounds awesome, but I gotta ask my mom. Be right back. Okay, I'll be here. Hey. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Don't answer me. No! for you and we need your help. So, so we had Daryl with us and, and he's missing and we, we, we don't, don't know. And then, and then we were, we weren't gone. We left him and forgot to bring him. And then he was gone, I tell you. Someone took him. We don't know who did. We need your help. So will you help us? I will be there in five minutes. Do not leave the building. Hello? 
Yeah, we'll be right there. Bye. Who was that? That was Ebony. She wants us to go down to the station. Why? Because she might have found who took Daryl. So what are we waiting for? Thanks for joining us this week, folks. See you next time on Sham Sham News. Eliza was just minding her own business, doing her work when she was trying to stay hydrated, but she noticed that her water bottle was missing. Okay, everything's alright, everything's alright, I'll survive just one more hour. And though she thought she would find her water bottle, it would be very long before she really would. And she would nearly die of dehydration. Gosh, it's not even in my locker. I don't understand. Where did it go? Oh God, I'm so thirsty. I, I wish I had my water bottle with me. And oh, boom, there her water bottle was again. but her water bottle just kept running, and she was too slow to reach her. This literally doesn't make any sense. The water bottle decided to come back. It felt bad for me. I'm, you're back. Finally, I don't have to be dehydrated. Three, two, no creaking. Three, two. Is that 60? 67. Three, two. Water. Dude, hurry up. Come on, I'm dehydrated. This one's too. <laughs> one. no. Okay, you ready? Everybody quiet, quiet on the set. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, we should do that like the then we did do the full, uh, the full house, the music, but like, hey, where are you? <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Oh, little bit. So I'm gonna say, hey, aren't you going on a trip soon? And then you'll say, oh, yes. A little dialogue. Yes. Okay, yes. So, oh, I, I hope Detective <laughs> will help us soon. No, I hope Detective Ebony. Yeah, yeah but she's our friend. Yeah, no. I hope Ebony will. Okay. No. Oh, God, I'm so thirsty. I, I wish I had my water bottle with me. You don't understand.